everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel today we are going to do a video or I'm going to do a makeup look and swatches of this cute <laughs> cute F Colourpop eyeshadow palette yes please now I got this finally so I tried to purchase this couple of times and it was out of stock immediately as it came out so I uh, had good luck this time and I got my hands on this cute cute palette this is how it looks, it doesn't have a mirror but it's a beautiful palette now this is a, like a dupe all over internet for the Natasha Denona sunset palette I think and I think that's why it is so popular because because Natasha Denona's eyeshadow palettes are expensive now you can hear my sound in the background. Now I don't own any of a Natasha Denona's palettes. Would I like that? Yes, but they are too expensive for me, so no. It has names of the shadow, shadows on the back and I'm going to do swatches like I'll always do. And I'm going to create a makeup look. Now I did play with this palette a couple of times. I did wear it a couple of times and it looks amazing on my eyelids. I really like it. I got so many compliments when I use this palette. And I really like these shades. You can create a lot of different makeup looks. Now let's zoom in and uh, do the swatches, of course. And before we move on, please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Don't f forget to click on the notification bell so you don't miss my videos. So I'm trying to do a couple of videos today because um, uh, I have a lot of things to do on my work. So I won't be able to film as much as I would like to this week and the next so that's why I'm pre-filming a couple of videos that's my son playing outside the room and uh, this is how the palette looks in close very nice it's cardboard I like it like it's like a metal down here very light and it good for traveling and this is how the packaging that it comes in looks like press up powder shade palette okay let's do the swatches I know this this is called bling this shade is called bling so the first shade is bling the next one is called champs this is how it got kind of dark I'm sorry for my lighting it's terrible So the next one is called Big Cocktails, I think. I hope I don't read the shades wrong. And the next one, Full Zip. Beautiful. So the next one is GNO, I think. And then we have uh, spoiled this beautiful gold shade. And then we have butter cake. This is the butter cake. My lighting is terrible, I know. Then we have the last shade on this road, it's Louis. 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 very nice they are kind of buttery and soft but they stain my hands okay let's see the next the French kiss is this yellow one then we have this chauffeur 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 I don't know very hard name to pronounce Then we have Note to Self. And the last shade is Mischief. Mischief. Chief. So this is the last road. Now the palette, palette is a little bit dirty right now has a little fallout. It's nothing that's bothering me. 
So it stayed in my hand a little bit, if you can see. But let's try to play with it on the eyes. Okay, let's try to create a makeup look. I don't really know where I'm going and what I'm going to do, but we're going to do. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to take this sec bling in all over my crease to set my primer, eyeshadow primer. It's a beautiful shade. Can't really see it on my eyelids, but the, it is there. And I'm going to take my favorite blending brush from Paris Berlin and I'm going to take uh, actually this shade Big Cocktails I think it's just dip it a little bit it's very powdery I don't know if you can see it but just tap into the shade you don't have to dig it is very pigmented Then I'm going to go into this deeper sh champs shade with the same blending brush. You can see how pigmented that shade is. It's a beautiful shade, I really like it. Kind of peachy. It's very important not to take a lot of eyeshadow and just press it too hard because I kind of find that the shade is going to stay a lot intense on that place where you just if you press it too strong on the eyelid so just tap it and be careful not to push too hard it is going to be harder to blend and that's with the newest shade. I don't know, for some reason, new eyeshadow palettes, they are almost like pigments. Very hard, not hard, harder to blend. These are not hard to blend, but I found that, that if I take a lot of eyeshadow and just press harder on my eyelid, it will stay much darker on that spot and it will be harder for me to blend it. Not impossible but it will take some time. I'm going to take another brush. Now I'm going to take this one, butter cake, and press it. All over my eyelid. Then I'm going to take another smaller blending brush and take the same and take that same shade. Tap it up and blend. Taking the shade that we had in our crease and blend a little bit more. I think it looks beautiful, like a sunset, something. Okay. As you can see the shades are very pigmented. I'm going to take a clean blending brush and just blend the edges a little bit. And I, and I think I'm going to use my finger and apply this shade full zip on my in the middle of my eyelid. Ooh, look at that pigmentation. I just like using my fingers for the foiled or pigmented eyeshadows pigmented foiled eyeshadows I don't know why I just prefer that I think it works better and I'm going to take the lightest shade in this palette that we used in the beginning bling and put that under my eyebrow so I'm going to take this shade Big Cocktails under my lower lash line. I'm going to take this shade again and put it also on the lower lash line. Another whole way. 
you kind of blend then I'm going to take this gold shade look how pigmented that is the other day I had this over my whole lid and it looks so beautiful so everyone this is the final look I'm really happy how it turned out now my face is so cakey and looks terrible I filmed another video also trying um, these powders on my face and it just they are great but the foundation made it look terrible now uh, I really really like this palette it blends very nice uh, very pigmented really like it I know I have nothing to say bad about this it has a lot of uh, fallouts not fallouts on my face but it's very powdery kind of dry texture now really like it look it feels it feels soft when I swatch it and I play with it but it kind of looks dry on the in the palette be it does have a lot of uh, kick up yeah nothing that's bothering me really liking this palette and definitely going to use it more so thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye